Lateralis, the third studio album from Tool, is now 20 years old. This was an album many listeners would impatiently wait for back in the day and question if it would ever release, which would be a tradition for Tool albums. And in the case of the 2001 entry, it would further solidify Tool as one of the biggest bands in metal ever. I'm in my 30s now, and while some viewers out there are watching this video realizing Lateralis is 20 years old and remembering a time when their back and knees didn't hurt, there are others who may not realize the significance of when Lateralis came out. In the age of new metal and rock bands chasing trends, Tool evolved and matured to the next chapter, and it worked perfectly. Lateralis, running 76 minutes across 13 tracks, was reached number one on the Billboard 200 on week of release, selling over 500,000 copies and achieving instant gold status. The album would eventually go on to be certified three times platinum in the US, two times platinum in Canada, platinum in Australia, and gold in the UK. The album would also earn a Grammy with Schism winning the award for best metal performance in 2002, beating out Black Sabbath, Slayer, Slipknot, and System of a Down. And, in my opinion, rightfully so, as Schism truly is one of the defining pieces from Tool, and music in general at that time frame. And for an album with this length to be so beloved at a time where music and mainstream rock was short and punchy is a testament to Lateralis. Danny Carey had the best line about making the album so long when asked, saying, The manufacturer would only guarantee us up to 79 minutes. We thought we'd give them two seconds of breathing room. Even music fans who don't care for metal or standard mainstream rock that was famous in the early 2000s know the bass opening for Schism and can sing along to the lyrics. And being able to sing along to Tool's lyrics from someone who isn't a fan is a huge deal considering how complicated the writing can get. Go back to that time frame. A year earlier, A Perfect Circle came onto the scene after Maynard James Keenan practically begged Billy Howardell to be a part of it, and there was a lot of doubt on whether a new Tool album would ever come out. This was that long period after Animal from 1996. Back then, five years was a long time for a Tool album to come out. Not 13. Times were simpler back then. Keep in mind, in that five-year span between albums, there was plenty of fighting between the record label and the band, which would continue for years later, which also caused a delay in making something, along with the pressure of delivering music to live up to their fans' expectations of the previous release. I remember back in 2001 getting the album from a Best Buy right before going on a big road trip from Salt Lake City to St. Louis. This was one of the CDs I had for the portable CD player. I don't know what it was, but riding through the Rocky Mountains while hearing songs like Parable, Parabola, and Reflection became a mesmerizing experience. For a wild album filled with expressive verbal imagery and some of the best musician in the genre, seriously, each member of Tool is master class in their own respect, Lateralis had a feeling and sound of anything you can happen, and it was for anyone. The angry, the sad, the energetic, the reflective. No matter what state of mind you were in, something in Lateralis can connect with you through the music. Back in April of 2001, a month before Lateralis came out, an interview was done through MTV with Justin and Danny, but aired on MTV too because of course we can't take away attention from Limp Bizkit and NSYNC and Real World. One impressive statement that came from the band when answering the question of if they were worried or concerned about the sales success of the record. Both Danny and Justin said they weren't. They were proud of the record they made and they could let it go on how it does on the charts. Does it matter to you as people how commercially successful this album is? Not so much at this point. Like I said, we want to share it with everyone, but you know, it, we're, we're happy we made a good record and it'll have to take on a life of its own now. And yeah, you pretty much yeah. have to let that go, you know. They wanted to have complete control of the album and tour, and they felt they finally had that with Lateralis in 2001. From a label perspective, looking at trends going on in rock and metal, Lateralis must have horrified everyone in a business suit, but Tool did not care. They made everything they wanted. The band evolved from their previous albums, and they made it a complete entity in this, and they were confident it would work. Lateralis is one of my all-time favorite albums for many reasons, and outside of the album intricacies, including time signatures, Fibonacci sequences, huge drum solos and bass lines, crushing riffs, this came out the same year when Puddle of Mud was topping the charts and getting massive attention. Quite the stark difference between everything in those two groups. In terms of, of this new album coming out now, 
Is it going to be a breath of fresh air for all the people that are getting fed up with the whole Limp biscuits and, and the Papa Roaches of this world? It'll be a breath of fresh air for the Tool fans, that's for sure. I could go track by track like I have in other videos, but with Lateralis, that would require a massive amount of resources to break down every particle of lyric writing importance matched to the music and moments, all to enrage 10% of viewers because I forgot to mention Maynard's favorite color or Danny's favorite laundry detergents, rendering other information I give useless because Tool fans can be crazy. I'm one of them, and even I admit Tool fans are elitist weirdos. But to be honest, Lateralis is an album to defend like a loved one. Schism and the title track have become metal staples for a generation, and even the quiet interludes connecting tracks feel important. Maynard has reflected on the album many times, whether it's about the mathematical approach to writing in syllables that he later would say was lame. In a way, a song like Lateralis with the Fibonacci thing, that's, that's, a, I feel like I kind of pulled a very pedestrian, sophomoric move by including those numbers in there because in general, music is the fire ratio. Everything, everything that all nature, all these things we're talking about, it's already here. I feel like that, you know, it's good to let people know about it, but I almost feel like it was kind of a, it was kind of a dick joke mm. in a way. It's, it's, um, I could do better. And the dual meaning of the term lateralis, referring both to the muscle and to lateral thinking. Lateralis does make you think. Whether lyric lines taken to heart or the music involved, 79 minutes does not have wasted moments that feel like filler. The music videos made for lateralis in turn that are often played at Tool live shows are also a work of art. Horrifying, alien-esque, haunting, impressive art. That description can fit the music videos and the band now that I think about it. A great joke I heard that many Tool naysayers stand by is that Manor James Keenan is not a genius. He's just always high. That's how he comes up with all this material in both musical and visual forms. My response is that he's both a musical genius and always high. You can be both at the same time. When you do research on the tracks and how everything was made, you get the bone-crushing reality of some of the lyrical matter and some absurdity, with Maynard's cat being recorded on the audio. There has to be a little absurdity in everything Maynard does at one point. There just has to. Explaining in detail every song on Lateralis would become arduous and less interesting than just listening to the album itself. The fact that it's 20 years old now still feels unique and does not sound dated, and it's just more of a testament to what Tool created. On Twitter, I asked the simple question of what is your favorite thing about Tool's Lateralis? For all the responses I received, it's safe to say that this isn't even close to the potential answers that many Tool fans could give. This album is an enigma that you want to solve and continuously come back to whether in sections or in full. Whether it's when I was 14 and first hearing Schism on the radio in St. Louis, or it's 2021 and I'm starting the grudge again, Lateralis is going to continue sticking with me for another 20 years when MP3s are downloaded into our skull. Like I referred to earlier, this album does not age. And here's hoping that 20 years from now we might get one more Tool album after Fear Inoculum in 2019. Anything's possible. I leave this question for all of you watching. What is your favorite thing about Tools Lateralis? Leave a comment and let everyone know. Big thanks to my patrons and a special thanks to Brandon Barrettfeld, Chris Doman, McKenna White, and Dom Noble. You can have a say in upcoming videos and see videos early by supporting Rocked on Patreon. Please click on the link in the video description for more info. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified on upcoming videos. You can check out my concert photography on Instagram and you can keep up to date with Rocked on Facebook and Twitter.